Welcome to Tiki Tunatopia. Today we're going to visit the very beginnings of the city of Constellation. This is a distributed energy model. Uh, as you can see, all these houses are solar powered. They're all linked together and their uh, collective energy is uh, putting energy into this little fan right here. Uh, let me go and uh, show you what I got going on here. I got, let's visit one little house here. One house has a solar panel on it. It's got the workings of a, a gutted uh, landscape light inside this solar panel. Each one of these is a, a one inch by three inch solar cell, which is which each solar cell is rated at uh, uh, 500 millivolts, 500 milliamps. They're uh, wired up in parallel, so I'm getting uh, about uh, 1.5 volts or uh, 1500 millivolts about 500 amps on average. Well, that's, that's what the rating's for. The most I've gotten out of these is 1.6 volts, about 700 milliamps. So this will this will potentially put out about a watt of energy. Uh, underneath here, I have uh, this, whoops, actually disconnected. <laughs> uh, this goes into the, uh, into the uh, building itself. Mm. As you can see, this is very, very quickly put together, hastily put together. I just wanted to get a demonstration going. Uh, these are, uh, I'm, I'm getting new ideas every five minutes on this, so. Uh, but what happens here is that uh, some of the power goes into the building. There are the guts of a uh, landscape light, sort of like this right here, uh, inside the building, powering a battery. And I'll show you the landscape light I've hacked to do this. Uh, so that's one circuit, and the other circuit comes out. Uh, the, the cell will uh, feed into this photoresistor, which dumps into the grid. And this is the shared line. Now the shared line, all these houses, again, are strung up in a uh, series. We got a cloud that just went over, so uh, the uh, output here just went down underneath the uh, uh, 60 uh, milliamps. Once see, I hit about uh, 70 milliamps or so, that fan will get going again. The fan needs at least about, see, once the fan gets going, it, it, it's running off about 60 milliamps. So that's that's the minimum output for, the, uh, for this fan. Uh, these are the landscape lights that I've hacked to uh, build these. Now obviously I got, now I'll, I'll show you how this works out. Got the landscape lights right here. Uh, I'll tear this apart, show you what I have here. Typical October in Florida, we got a little cloud going over. It's enough to drop the, uh, the amperage on this uh, system. It's still gonna be putting out about a, a, a volt and a half per house. Where'd the other one go? This is the this is a circuitry that I pulled apart. This is a stock landscape light. There it is. Uh, now, obviously, this thing came with a little dinky little, uh, what do they call this? A uh, uh, two thirds AA battery. It's rated at uh, 150 milliamp hours. These light, these uh, solar arrays are putting out at maximum about 700 milliamps that would blow this battery up if I were to have that you know, stay in there so I replaced these with these batteries here and these batteries uh, I got these in bulk I found these online somewhere um, 2600 milliamps uh, they're not gonna blow up with a little 700 milliamp uh, charge going on over here uh, 2600 milliamp hours uh, in theory, this thing from, if this battery was completely dead, that solar cell, if it wasn't charging anything else, would, would fill that battery up in about uh, uh, four hours, five hours, something like that. I'm running about uh, uh, 60 amp. Now, we got 60 milliamps coming through uh, the line. That's enough. That's what this thing needs to power on. Everything, anything over that's going to be dumped into the uh, rotation of that fan. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. 
I've got this thing, the fan is off right now. I've got this, uh, my uh, multimeter plugs directly into the, uh, the line right now. And it's putting out about uh, 93 milliamps, 90 to 93 milliamps, what have you. Uh, October sun, uh, <laughs> it's about one o'clock in October in Florida. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be getting out of these. And of course, these things are laying flat. If I had these things angled toward the sun a little bit better, I'd probably get a little more output out of them. But this is what I'm getting about uh, 9.3, uh, 93.4 uh, milliamps, what have you. Uh, let me switch you over to, uh, see what kind of a, uh, I'm getting a glare here. I don't want that. Okay, we're generating about uh, 1.6 volts, so uh, 1,600 millivolts through this system. This is all uh, DC, by the way. I don't have any AC, anything going on here. So we got uh, 93, 94 milliamps going through the line right now. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the fan, show you what it's gonna get. Fan needs a little jump start. See, the fan wants to run at the 60 milliamps, so we got it's pretty much running on the excess 30 milliamps to power that uh, rotation. Okay, this is why I went ahead and built some oversized, uh, oversized uh, uh, PV cells here. I have here an original. Let me get to do this again, see if I can't get the glare out of the camera. There we go. I'll show you what this camera at uh, this. Twenty-three milliamps. Actually, let me turn it up over here. Oh, we're getting a cloud now, so we're dropping down to about nine milliamps. But let me show you what kind of uh, voltage we're getting out of this here. Two volts. Two point three volts. Of course, the sun just went away. So the best I can hope for is maybe 2.5 volts on these things. The point is, this thing is not powerful enough to do anything for me here. Let me show you the circuitry on this now. Uh, bear in mind that this thing <laughs> broke when I, this is the very first one I put together. So I broke a cell and what have you. So, But this thing, uh, after everything is said and done, is rated at uh, 1.5 volts, 500 milliamps or uh, uh, 1500 millivolts, uh, 500 milliamps. Uh, we'll follow this down to the circuitry down here. We have a, uh, a positive and negative coming down here to the the guts of the landscape light. This little chip right here is uh, rated at uh, a maximum input voltage of, uh, or maximum input current, I should say, at uh, 800 uh, milliamps. So even if this, thing, if this thing goes up to 700, I'm not gonna kill this uh, little chip here. Uh, that chip right here controls whether or not this light comes on. If this drops below, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it was uh, 0.3 volts, this light would come on. If this comes up above 0.8 volts, the light will shut off and then this battery will charge. This is the battery that I used to replace uh, this with. Now this, little guy that came with the uh, landscape lights rated at uh, 150 milliamp hours uh, this if this thing throws out 500 milliamps I'll kill this little battery very very quickly so I went ahead and upgraded the batteries this is a double uh, a full-size double a nickel metal hydride battery it's uh, rated at uh, uh, 2600 milliamp hours which means if this battery was completely dead and I had this thing at, uh, at an average charge of 500 milliamps, this, this battery would charge 
this solar cell would charge his battery in about five hours or so, five or six hours, realistically speaking. So, but that's how this works out. Now, if this is charging this, and I've noticed that uh, if the battery is, uh, you know, got less than a full charge, uh, none of this will feed into the system. Now, let me talk about this right here. If you can look closely, I have this uh, soldered into, I've got a second circuit going on here, and this goes into the grid. I've got a little thing called a photocell. What it is is a photoresistor. When it's dark, it shuts off. When it's dark, it shuts off the circuit. It, it, it opens the circuit up. Well, I don't want to say it opens the circuit up, but it, it resists current flow uh, into uh, the circuitry. So when it's dark, nothing comes out through here. When it's bright like it is right now, the sun, this pretty much is wide open. It's a very, very little resistance. The idea behind this is that if I get a little bit of sunlight out here or, or if I get a cloud going over and this thing's putting out a little bit of, of juice, it'll shut down the uh, power going into the grid. So it it won't have any excess power, therefore it, it cuts off the grid. When this thing gets uh, sunlight, it opens up that uh, valve. It's kind of like a opening a water valve using mechanical uh, translation. But there, there you have that. So this right here goes into the grid. Now I went ahead and pulled this apart. I'll pull this together now. I'm going to plug it into the rest of the houses. Uh, I got, there we go, we got this here. I got four other houses on this on this circuit. Let's see if this actually gets the fan going right away. Probably not. But there we go. Actually, I got it backwards, but there you go. Fans running. Now this is the line voltage right here. This is the line power right here. This is connected to the house behind it. That one's connected to the house behind it. I got five houses on this. I got five uh, very, uh, five identical, whoops. This actually came loose. <laughs> Hold on a sec, let me wire this. Let me plug the house back into itself. There you go, and I'm still getting plenty of power over here. Fans on, it's, it's spinning. So now I have all five of these houses linked up. Now, I'll need five houses to get enough amperage going through the line to power this little fan right here. Now, I've got five here. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna have about uh, six houses lined up in series to get the amperage I want. And I think I'm gonna end up having four arrays of six series up houses. I'm gonna have 24 houses all together. Uh, four rows of six, four series of six in parallel to give me the voltage I need. Uh, now, the vol I'm, want I'm wanting my line voltage coming out of each block to be around six volts, which if I have these 1.5 volts coming out of here times four, I'm gonna have six volts coming out. If I can get into it, you can look this up or I can get into it later. But basically, if I have the series, uh, these uh, houses in series, I get more amperage. If I get these houses in parallel, I'll get more voltage out of it. Yeah, the voltage is how this kind of thing works out. The idea here is that uh, this is a distributed energy system. Instead of, you know, these each of these houses is self-sufficient and whatever excess energy these houses are putting out goes into the grid and it's enough to spin, in this case, a little fan. 